Um, I've been watching all this hype about um, jelly plates and that, and so uh, it got me thinking um, that you know because these jelly plates are so darned expensive. There's got to be a cheap alternative for those who can't afford to buy one, especially over here, um, because they are just so ridiculously expensive. And um, and when you include the postage on top, it's just bonkers. So, uh, a little while ago, my sister and I had um, had a stab at some mono printing and we used uh, gelatine and we also had a go with um, uh, what is it? shaving foam that was fun uh, but um, with this idea of a jelly plate um, it, it wasn't quite the same so I thought well I'll have a go with um, a sheet of craft foam but I've got, I'm going to do a sort of test tonight um, because I've got a sheet of craft foam here and I've covered this side with um, some sealant uh, because craft foam, um, you know, is quite porous, isn't it? So I thought by coating it in a sealant, it will stop it like just seeping in um, but it will give you some slight sponginess so that when you um, apply the paint on it and you know do your printing you've got a certain amount of give then I thought I'd try it without so and determine the difference you know quickly but I've also got uh, a heat pad it's like heat proof and um, I don't know if you can see that there's, it's like webbing uh, that's encased in like a, a silicone coating. So I'm going to try it with three, those three things, and see which comes up the best. I've got some pieces of card that got punch outs on them, and I thought use those as um, stencils. Some bubble wrap. Um, some stencils I've cut out. So I'll use a bit of um, sacrum waste. We'll try that. Here's a stencil I've used, no, no end of times. So I'll we'll try that. Oh, my tree. Let's try my tree. If you can see that, it's a bit fine. I've got two trees there. Oh, bubbles. Let's try bubbles. Right. Well, that was poo. And some of the stuff's come off as well. Oh, well, she'll keep trying. I'm not going to give up. This is a lime, is it? Lime yellow. 
nice vivid colour. Not looking like that now, mind, but wholeheartedly impressed with that. Uh, so okay, let's just rub them over. sheet of craft foam. I'll try permanent rose by Galleria again. That's the one I used. I'll try that again. Too thick. Come out lovely on there though. So maybe it needs to be thin paper or stencil. Well, let's try again. We'll try we'll try this pink. Oops, I just did put it on there in the first place. So it didn't seem to make any difference really, coating that, uh, where is it, coating that um, craft, craft foam uh, with the sealant, it hasn't made any difference at all. So um, anyway, let's get rid of the excess. Me like. Like that. Let's try lime yellow again. Maybe Put that one on top. See how that comes out now. Hmm, a little bit. Quite abstracty, but I like it. Oh, hang on. Let's have a look at this one. I said nothing, so uh, 
I'll put something over the top of that. So I'm going to peel that off and This looks like a total mess. But then it's my very first go on my own without any um, sister assistance or anything. But um, I've tried just three things and um, I think all three work. So I think I shall keep going with that. I think like most of it works um, but I shall keep practicing and I shall come back another time uh, with a better attempt at it <laughs> but it was fun trying anyway and I've got two or three pages here I can um, play about with so that's enough for me to satisfy my uh, curiosity so thanks for joining me I hope you enjoyed the uh, the pickle I got into with it all. <laughs>